mission of this bread company is to basically feed everyone who comes within our doors with dignity. Um, we do have rules and regulations in place that keep other people from taking advantage of us, so we, of us so that we can continue that mission. But for the most part, it's so that anybody who comes within our doors can get a meal regardless of whether or not they can pay. Basically, we're a nonprofit, and we give you a suggested value or donation instead of a set price at any other Panera. And what that does is it'll help people who can't pay the full price. So we give you the price that it would cost for any person, and you pay as close as you can to it. And if you pay in excess, then it'll help the people who can't pay the full price. I actually started off as a volunteer. Uh, one of the things that Panera Cares does is they allow people to volunteer in exchange for meals. Um, they volunteer an hour of their time and when they finish we give them a meal. And I enjoyed it a lot, so much so that they let me keep coming back. It's really easy to volunteer. All you have to do is volunteer for an hour. I mean, if you're interested in doing it for college, it looks really good. But also, like I just did it because I wanted to, and you learn a lot. This is a really great place to volunteer. Um, we, we, we have volunteer hours from 8 and 11 in the morning and, uh, and then 2 and 4 in the afternoon. Some people don't pay the full price even if they seem as though they can or if I know them and I know they can. But we do have a lot of people who take advantage of it only because they need to. Sometimes people like give donations like without buying food. I haven't had one myself. The reason they chose this particular area was because it wasn't in so remote a part of St. Louis that it couldn't be reached by the people who really need it. But at the same time, there are um, enough of individual customers around this particular Panera to support the mission statement without it having to stop being a nonprofit. People are always like, well, why would you have it in a rich neighborhood? But the thing is, if we don't have it here where people are more likely to spend the full price, then we won't be able to sustain ourselves. We have a lady who comes and gets iced tea. She pays $10 for it every single day. Um, I enjoy interacting with the customers. Um, I'm a cashier, so I'm on the register all day and I'm talking to different kinds of people from all over St. Louis and even all over the country. One of the things that Panera tries to do is we get to know our customers and that way we know their name, we know what they want every time and it makes it more homey. And what that does here especially is that people feel more comfortable coming in and not paying the full price because we know them and we're nice to them. So they don't feel embarrassed, they don't have to hide anything, they can just come, we know what they want, we know how much they're going to pay, we won't question it and it's just completely happy and safe for them. They're a really good group of kids. They're a lot of fun to be around. They're, they're really fun. So, yeah, I have, I have strong connections with a lot of different kinds of customers, and I enjoy that part a lot. It's just a really nice environment. It's not stressful, and it's just like a happy environment.